All right, y'all, this is a push kick video. We're doing a push kick. Um, Cash is just learning how to do push kicks. We're doing, a, or T kicks, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I use T kicks to generate distance between me and my opponent, whether you're in close. If I'm, if I'm really in close, I like to clinch with those knees, or I like to trip and stuff like that from the inside. I'll clinch, and then I'll trip down, or I'll throw knees, or whatever, you know what I mean? But if you're in a distance that you're trying to get where your opponent's actually closing in on you, where he's consistently putting pressure on you, and this is with MMA or Muay Thai, all right? What you're doing is, is you're generating the, 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 the distance you need to come back with either punches or another tie kick or whatever, whatever it is you're doing to generate that distance. I'm trying to push him back from me to kick or to get punches just to basically stop him from smothering me down, all right? To generate the power you need in, in a push kick, man, a lot of people, or a teep kick, a lot of people would just throw their leg out or whatever, you're just throwing your leg, like you're kicking in a, a door in a house or something like that. You're not gonna generate the power that you need by kicking like that, all right? When I throw a teep kick, it's the same thing as when I throw my top kicks. I like to step to the side, unless they're really coming in hard. Then, then you have no choice but to come up. But with your, either way, whether you're stepping to the side and teeping, either way, you gotta generate those hips. You're pushing with those hips. That way you're generating more power. So if I'm here, what I'm doing is this. I'm lifting and then I'm pushing, all right? So I'm on my toes, I'm on my toes, and then I'm pushing out, all right? So it's here, and I push out. You see how I'm cocking my hips? My hips are like a, like a, like a shotgun. You know, I'm cocking that bitch and then I'm pulling the trigger. So I'm here, and I'm pushing, all right? Here, and I push, all right? It's hard to do it in slow motion to be able to get that, to generate that power with your hips. So I'll show you on the bag of what I mean. So, like I said, if I'm standing here, we're standing right here, and I wanna generate a good push kick, I usually will step to the side if I'm really just trying to generate without you putting pressure on me, all right? But if you're putting that pressure on me and I don't have time to step to the side, my hands are still up, and then I'm pushing, all right? So watch, watch the power that's coming, that's generating off of my hips. Watch, you see, I'm trying to slow it down a little bit, but you see where my hips are? I'm generating back. So I'm cocking the leg up, and then I'm pushing out. So it's here, and I'm not a real flexible person, man. A person that's real flexible, and that does Muay Thai, could probably do this 10 times better than me. I'm a wrestler and all that, but, I know the technique of what you're supposed to do when it comes to this stuff. So um, that's where you're gonna generate the power is in your hips, all right? That's it, that's all. Push kicks, team kicks, you can either switch. You can switch these just like throwing, a, throwing your switch kick, your tie kick, you can switch the team kicks too, boom. So you can, you can switch these too, so you hear? Boom, I can switch that also, same thing. All right, peace y'all.